Hello, I'm Sarah James from Craft Festival and welcome to the Digital Craft Festival. I'm here to tell you a little bit more about how to get involved with the event at the end of the month, the 27th to the 29th of November. The main thrust of the show is happening that weekend, but a lot of it is live, so you will need to book in advance for some of the things. The main point of the show is to sell craft. We have 160 of some of the finest makers in the country and across the UK and Europe taking part. We're really, really lucky. We had so many people that wanted to take part and we could cherry pick some of the finer makers and I hope you enjoy looking through the whole site. So the best thing to do, first of all, is to go to the Digital Craft Festival website, .co.uk and go to the homepage. On the homepage, there's a map. And the map is a representation of our largest craft festival, which is in Bobby Tracy in Devon. If you click on the horseshoe that's going round, that the, represents the horseshoe of the marquees that we normally have in, the, in Millmarsh Park in Devon. And if you tap on there, you can then be linked to the maker sections. So each section is listed through, through their um, subject matter. So we've got ceramics, glass, textiles, jewellery, paper, mixed media, wood and furniture, things like that. And if you tap on there, you'll go to the individual makers pages. So each page has got about eight images and a, and a biography of each maker. And then the all important link to their shop. So it's really important that we shop with independent people this year. This year, there is more important than ever to support small business as this year has, has decimated a lot of makers incomes. And we need to see if we can support as many as possible. So go through there and you'd be a spot for choice. So I'd have a good rummage around there if I was you. So to go on to what the other things that you can do over the weekend is that you can get involved in lots of activities because, you know, we all love making. So you can join in a workshop, you can go to a talk and you can go to a demonstration. We've got lots of recorded things as well that will be available from the 27th to the 29th. But to meet people, to join the community, I highly recommend you come and join us in one of our live events. The majority of them are free. So the first things to do, the ones that have got limited capacity, very limited capacity, are the workshops. So I'd go onto the website now and on the map you'll see a, a, a circle that says web, uh, workshops. So tap that, go on there and have a look to see what you fancy booking. Those are all chargeable workshops. The, the, the charge goes directly to the maker. They're, they're booking, they're teaching a real live event in real time. Some of them might need you to get in touch as soon as possible because they need to send you some materials. But some of those are optional because you can actually use things from around the house. Some of the, work, some of the materials are recycled, um, things you might find in the recycling bin, so card and paper, things like that. So there's nothing, no big cost involved in that regard. But um, some of the workshops, you might want to get the materials and, and, and make along in real time with the professional makers that are running the workshops. Um, and they're all run over the weekend at different times. So, uh, but also there's some downloadable content as well. So there's some workshops that you can just watch as a film and, and, and use work at your leisure. It's, they are free or, and there's some that are downloadable with an with a activity sheet. Again, often using recycled materials and things that you find around the house. So the next thing to think about is say you want to go to one of our craft conversations, which is a talk Q&A with makers. You can sit in the Zoom room, ask questions in the chat and come and meet some of the most interesting makers um, that we have in the UK. So we've got talks with Keith Brammer Jones, who is the uh, potter and judge from the Great Pottery Throwdown. I'm going to be talking him, to him on Friday, uh, the 27th of November. We have uh, James Otter is uh, wooden surfboard maker from Cornwall and he's being interviewed by Mark Shaler that is not to be missed on Sunday morning on the 29th of November. Abir Kayani is being interviewed, she's an emerging textile artist, very new, it's always nice to support makers who are at the beginning of their careers. She's being interviewed by Deirdre Figueredo from Craft Space on Sunday afternoon at 3pm. And then on Saturday afternoon, uh, Louise Jones-Williams from Clintan and Grange Arts Centre in Cumbrian in South Wales is interviewing Anne Morgan, who's an award-winning jeweller and gallery owner. So you need to, if you go onto the website again and go to the section the, on the map that says Craft Conversations and you tap on there, you can, you can join in with any of those talks that are happening live. Um, the... Uh, the next section to think about is the demonstrations. Again, if you go to the demonstration section on the website, 
top on there. We've actually got a lot of recorded content. So a lot of the makers from the show have actually sent us a specially made film of them demonstrating their particular craft, uh, which will be released. They, they will be available to watch from the 27th of November. But we also have some live demonstrations as well that you can uh, join in. It's all free of charge. The craft, craft, craft conversations are also free of charge. And you can come and uh, join us on Zoom. So you tap on on individual. You can join. You can join in with everything if you want. It's all free of charge. So please come along. And we have demonstrations of pottery with Arwen Jones from Bodbury and Devon. And then by contrast, we have another ceramic uh, demonstration of slip trailing with Fitcher McAndrew, who are based in Dumfries and Galloway in the borders of Scotland. We've also got a uh, free machine um, uh, embroidery. Uh, with Linda Miller that's um, on uh, Friday as well and uh, I'm gonna be very busy and um, and then we have a demonstration of leather work with Warner leather as well um, throughout the weekend on each day Friday Saturday and Sunday uh, I'll be going live on Instagram at 10 o'clock we also have lots of awards to give out as well from uh, the Devon Guild, New Brewery Arts, Clintan and Grange Arts Centre, Made by Hand Online, uh, Gloucestershire Guild and the Devon Guild of Craftsmen. Did I mention them already? But there's uh, there are, we are, and the Bayer Gallery, which is a beautiful gallery on the on the borders of Cornwall yeah, of Devon, and Devon, um, that we will be giving awards out from makers from the show, so they'll be announced every day. Um, we go on live again at 11.30 a.m. and then again at 2 p.m. And I'll have a variety of hosts doing that myself, Andy Greenacre from Makers Market from Home and Anne-Marie Shepherd from the Gloucestershire Guild and the Design Trust. So it, it is very much a, a massive team effort. And one of the big things, one of the bigger projects that we do to create content for the show is our show and tell films. And they are being hosted by various organisations from around the country where they're meeting on Zoom to do live, to do recorded conversations with the, with small groups of makers for a particular theme. So I'd look out for those. They were going to be launched throughout the weekend on Facebook and all those films, the demonstrations and the conversations, everything will be uh, broadcast um, through Facebook as well. So the live content again is on Zoom. A lot, lot of those conversations will be recorded, but I would want you to, they won't be available for some time. So I would highly recommend that you join in and have a chat with, with, with us while we're there and be amazed at the, where the people are coming from around the world to come to listen to all the conversations that we have. The other aspect of the show that's really important to me is the my, our, our Happy Place, which is a, a range of well-being activities. So we've got yoga, qigong, some breath work, dancing, very important um, and injury prevention as well so we've got a little bit of a sort of a whole host of things to, to look at so if you go to our happy place on the map of the digital craft festival website and you can then click on there and actually um, book on some are live on Instagram channels so we have yoga with Anna White from Pretzel Studio that is bookable through um, live so it's live on zoom and Anna's been doing live sessions on yoga for quite some time but these are free sessions especially for us it's not normally free um Mark Shaler will be running Qigong from his channel on Instagram at Mark Shaler and the um breath work with Matt Bagwell from Learn to Love You Learn to Love Too is going to be on the craft festivals um uh, channel at 7 p.m on the Friday night the Saturday night we've got a kitchen disco, which will be which is great fun with our resident DJ Print Garage, and he uh, will be going live from seven thirty on Zoom. Again, that's a book you to book a place on there. It's all free, uh, and on also on Sunday morning at nine a.m. after Qigong, we've got a um, injury prevention uh, workshop with Nikki PT Nikki Miguel um, and her um, Slow Run Club. So it's kind of run club I can I can understand. So we've got workshops, demonstrations, talks. There's a cinema as well, the craft cinema, which has got about ten films there with of beautifully made biographical films of makers uh, that are part of the show. We've also got a range of activities for young people and children as well, which are a very important part of our activity. 
and we're also running um, a, a demonstration live as well with the forge with Alex Powell blacksmithing as well so there's um, those activities as well another special thing that you can do as well is to be um, part of rubbish portraits they are not rubbish by the way with Lucy Sheridan um, on uh, zoom you can have a free thanks to the Arts Council we can offer these free sessions with Lucy Sheridan where you you join her on zoom she's full DBS checked so she can do um, portraits of the whole family but it's one free portrait per family so you can decide whether you want all of you in it or just one person but um, Lucy you just book through rubbish portraits it's on the map again through rubbish portraits you'd click on that and make a appointment with uh, Lucy and then she will join you on zoom and she will paint your portrait in real time while she's talking to you she's absolutely amazing she has a incredible concept um, of like a photo booth that she takes to various events who's meant to come to Bobby Tracy she came to Ashwin Cardiff last year where she sets up booths you sit you chat you put she draws your portrait with black ink and so feeds it through like as if she's had your you've had your photograph taken and uh, it's a it's a lovely way to uh, to capture a moment and she's she's going to doing those sessions but they are limited obviously with them being free so if you want one to book one in I would do that as soon as possible so um, I'm trying to think if I've if I've missed anything out with young people as well obviously you've got lots of downloadable content there as well you go on the craft map and go to craft festival map and go to uh, craft lab and to the den and you can go and find um, uh, downloadable content for children it is a live activity and of course the one of the main things that we want to do uh, one of the one of the more nice things that I thought we put together is with Jim Parkin because Jim is a world-renowned animator with the uh, Hardman Studios famous for Wallace and Gromit and Shaun the Sheep and all those really famous and well-loved characters that we know and Jim is joining us for a make-along session hosted by Andy Greenacre and he will be on Saturday the November the 28th at 3 p.m. Uh, live on Zoom so you can join in with him. You might want to go and buy some plasticine. You can just use icing um, so you don't have to buy anything but you might just want to get a block of plasticine. The character is this incredible uh, reindeer that is, is wearing a jumper so uh, but when you go to book it gives you all the colours and gives you an idea of the uh, what you need to bring but it is very simple you don't know and at the same time you don't actually have to make along with Jim. It'd be nice if you did so you can all be making something but it's really about um, uh, coming along and making but you just can come along and watch again free free of charge and uh, you can sign up to make along with Jim uh, I think I've put him in various sections he's in the children's section he's in the workshop section he's in the demonstration section because he's, he's all ages it suits everybody so you can bring the children or not just bring yourself and enjoy uh, and also chatting with um, Andy Greenacre who's a huge fan of Jim's and an artist in his own right and he'll be uh, hosting the whole uh, afternoon. So I think I've covered everything. So obviously it's about meeting the makers. A uh, lot of activity will happen on Instagram. A lot of the makers that are involved will be will be also hosting their own activities on Instagram, and there'll be live um, feeds throughout the weekend, above and beyond what we're doing um, as a as a hub. But really, it's about you know listening, getting involved joining some of the activities, looking around the website, going into all, all the different categories and sections and finding makers that you love and know and some makers that you, you've not met before. Because there there's lots of makers that I haven't met before that have come to the show, which has been a real eye-opener to see some incredible makers, all based, you know, mostly in the UK. But some makers, again, as I said, from Europe, which has been really exciting and has offered us this opportunity to reach out to a wider audience that we would probably not have had the time to sort out, really, or do ever, but if it hadn't been for the situation. So it has presented us with an opportunity to reach out to an international audience and to international makers, which has been an extremely interesting and exciting part of, of what we're doing now. So thank you for joining me this evening. Uh, if you have any questions... You can DM me or uh, email me at hello at craftfestival.co.uk and hopefully we'll see you at the Digital Craft Festival from the 27th to the 29th of November. Bye-bye.